the the image is the registering factor. I don't know if you see, do you see this. Between the husband and wife, or a boy and a girl, there is not only sexual registration and the pursuit of that pleasure of that experience, but also the registration of hurts, the registration of insults, the nagging, the pleasure, you know, the whole re- what goes on in a relationship. And this is the registration which is the image. I am you understand. Now when there are when there is this image between the man and the woman, there is no relationship at all. It is the relationship of registration. You register and I register. And the registration are the images. Now if if we don't register at all anything psychological, then relationship between man and woman is completely different. Naturally. I wonder if uh, will, are you doing it as we are talking, or is it just verbal acceptance? Because it perhaps some of you may think it's very logical, reasonable, sane, or others might think, oh, it's much too difficult. Sorry, I can't pursue all this. I'd rather go and sing in a camp or whatever you do. But we are talking about this very seriously, because it affects all human relationship. And where there is image as registration, and it is that registration of the image that, pre- that brings about jealousy, anxiety, hatred, irritation, all that between two human beings, and that denies love. Right? Now, love for most of us is something. You know what it is, I don't have to explain all this. It is biological and also it becomes psychological. I am attached to my one is attached to one's wife. Without wife you feel lonely. You lose all comfort or the husband. So the more you register, the more attached you are. And the more attached you are, the greater the fear of losing. And facing that which is which is the loneliness, the emptiness in that loneliness, and trying to run away from that loneliness through various forms of entertainment, religious and otherwise. So we are saying, where there is registration, unnecessary registration, there is no love. And if we were to understand the nature of compassion, one has to go into this question of what is love and whether there is such a thing as love without any form of attachment, with all its complications, with all its uh, pleasure and so on and so on, and fears.